But uh, we do have a problem here with the uh, switch. And uh, let me show you that. I have the uh, switch turned in the off position. We'll turn it on. And we don't have continuity, but I can move it around. Hopefully it's just a uh, contact issue that we can actually uh, clean up. We grab the uh, soldering iron. Go ahead and get these uh, components off of All right, let's see if we can get to the uh, switch side here. Looks like I can bend these uh, ears back here and here. Yeah, it looks like this thing is going to uh, just slide off here. You can see we have the uh, spring here that creates uh, tension, and then you've got this uh, lever device that uh, closes and makes contact with this point here. So from here to here, you can see how the uh, switch, once it's engaged, we should make uh, contact here. See if I can uh, make any uh, improvements here. Here's a uh, look at how the uh, mechanical switch works again. As you rotate the uh, switch and it makes contact here with this point, you bring a closure here that's showing up. So I think I've got everything uh, cleaned out in here. Let's uh, put it back on but not uh, clamp it down at this point and uh, just see how it performs. All right, here we go. See what happens. And I'm rotating the uh, potentiometer all the way through so it sounds like I've got this thing uh, pretty well cleaned up. I just used some uh, CRC electronic cleaner in there, but I think I'm going to throw just a uh, drop or two on a Q-tip with some uh, deoxid between those uh, plates, or between the uh, brass plate and the uh, contact point. I'll rotate this real slow, and when I get to this point, it wants to climb just a little bit, and then drop back off. Let me give it a couple more shots. I still see some debris uh, down in there. See if I can get that out and uh, we'll give it a test here and uh, see if it responds any better or if I need to look for a replacement. But I can definitely see improvement here rotating uh, through now. There's still this little spot right here. It gets hung up just for a moment and then we get past that. But uh, it seems to be a lot more uh, stable now all the way through the uh, range itself of one meg. So uh, let me get this thing back together, give it one final uh, test here. Just uh, checking the switch one more time here before I uh, put this thing back together. Looks like the old uh, capacitor here, the mica molds, in good shape as well. All cleaned up now and ready to be reinstalled into the uh, receiver. You can see I've got the uh, capacitor color codes facing toward me as well as the uh, other capacitor here.